It's a classic battle between experience and hard work. But I think the Karyobangi Sharks are giving the big boys, the so-called big boys in the league, a run for their money. And we're really happy for the Sharks that they're, they're more or less not facing the same uncertainty that uh, Zukiri and Nakumat FC are going through, not knowing their actual position in the league. Yeah, it was pretty a sad state of affairs. You know, I mean, one minute Nakumat and Zoo are not on the league. Yeah. Next minute they're back on the league. So I just hope next season that uncertainty won't be there anymore. Yeah. And you know, next season, you know, just like Arsenal, you know. <laughs> maybe we'll win. Always, maybe Who we'll knows? win next season. <laughs> well, of course, let's move on to some athletics with focus right now. As we get to sit down with Helen Obiri. She is the middle distance runner who won the 5,000 meter gold in the IAAF Championships in London. What I can tell upcoming athletes is just to stay focused because there's nothing comes easy. My name is Helen Obiri, 5,000 meters runner, world champion, Olympic City for Metro in 2016, and the world champion in 2017. I started to run when I was small, like back 2001, when I was in primary school, back in home in Kisi land, Kisi County. When I started to run, in my family, there was no nobody running there. But my father used to encourage me to run, but I didn't know which distance I can run. Somebody told me that just try to run long distance, because long distance in Kenya, you can go far. In Olympic 2016, I was not well prepared because I was coming from maternity leave 2015. So I was like doing 1,500 meters. So I decided to do trials 5,000 because I was not used in 5,000. I had no experience. So I was going there in Olympics to target position three. But all of a sudden I get a silver. So I was still thankful because it was my first medal in Olympics. As a family and as a husband, I think I'm the best guy to be the manager to Helen because I'm always in time, have time with her. I know her, so I understand whatever the the weakness she has, I know how to correct it. And the strength, how to make it perfect. When you want to do something, you can just plan with your coach, with your manager, to see how you can do in World Championships. So I started my season in indoors. I did very well. So I just kept on doing something good. So because we are targeting to get something in World Championships, because I get in silver in the Olympics, so I was targeting to get a gold at least. So I was been doing well. I was focusing to get a gold. So I was being trained for that one. She is so much determined. Whatever the program she has, she must do it. I think when I wake up to go for my training, I go targeting for something. If, for example, if it's a program, she follows the letter. If they are doing like 400 meters, she has to complete it. She doesn't have a shortcut. At World Championship, it was my best moment ever because, as you can see, it's my first ever gold in World Championships because I don't have any gold. So when I get there, I was just a bit worried because Ayana was there and everybody knew Ayana is very strong and even Kenyans knew Ayana is very strong. So I had pressure from Kenyans people because I was the only athlete who I think capable of getting gold. So I was just like, if I don't get this one, how can the people of Kenya feel? So I had to do something, I had to dig big because I knew I had a good experience than Ayana. So I decided to go ahead of Ayana. So I knew when I go in front, you cannot catch me at all. I think what I can do now is forget about 2017 season and I tried to do extra hard in 2018 season. I'm going to for wild indoors back in, in March and from there I'm going to sit down with my coach, my manager to focus and we can see if we can attend to world record in May. 
There's only a handful of women in history who have gone as quick as that. Obiri there, I think, has just become the fifth fastest in history. What I know is that she makes Kenya feel proud. Yeah, like now everyone knows Kenya is all about sports, uh, athletics, and that's not necessarily only Helen Obiri, but men, men athletes. Yeah, so they make Kenya big now. I'm targeting to even a marathon, but for now, my dream is to break the world record 5,000. From there, maybe I can shift to 10,000. Going on behind, so they come into the straight now, and Obiri kicks hard off the bend, and Mira needs to stay with the Kenyan.